Hey there, this is April from Android Authority. You're tuned in to the Android Authority channel on YouTube. Android tablets come in many sizes, ranging from as small as 5 inches to as large as 10.1 inches. Among the various tablet sizes, the 7 inch is still the most favored. And into that 7 inch market, Huawei has unleashed the Huawei MediaPad 7 Lite, an entry level tablet intended for light and casual use on the go. What does this Huawei tablet have in store for us? Let's find out. One of the things I liked most about this tablet is its combination of an aluminum unibody and some hard plastic components. The result is a two-tone theme for the back and a rock-solid build. The tablet does look solid and feel solid. Someone actually told me that I could use it as a hammer. I haven't tried that yet, but it sounds possible. The front is bare and is all black. No physical buttons. Only the VGA front camera is here at the corner. For a light and entry-level tablet, I was expecting the MediaPad 7 Lite to have only the basic slots and buttons. But Huawei went full Monty anyway. All of them are on the right and bottom sides. Here's the power button, volume rocker, micro SD card slot, SIM card slot, headphone jack, micro USB port, and microphone hole. The left and top sides don't have any slot or button. The front panel is encased in a white frame made of hard plastic, which extends to the top and bottom edges of the back plate. They look like envelope flaps. The back itself is mostly matte aluminum, giving the back an air of elegance. Here's a 3.2 megapixel camera and the loudspeaker grill. This back plate is non-removable. The 7-inch display uses IPS LCD technology with 1024 by 600 screen resolution. Effective density is only 170 pixels per inch. The display looks good and usable enough for reading or browsing. Though colors tend to look washed out and images don't appear exceptionally crisp. This is Android 4.0.3 Ice Cream Sandwich running here. Unlike other manufacturers that heavily modify Android for their gadgets, Huawei did very little modification or skinning, so most of the interface looks and behaves just like stock ice cream sandwich. I particularly like the taskbar, which you can hide by tapping this arrow. With that out of the way, I get a bigger screen. To make it reappear, just swipe upwards from the bottom. This feature can be handy when you're playing games or watching movies. Currently, when someone talks of light tablets, I'd expect at least dual-core processing. The Huawei MediaPad 7 Lite's idea of light, however, is single-core 1GHz Cortex-A8 CPU, thankfully accompanied by 1GB of RAM. There's also 8GB of internal storage, with about 6GB available for the user. The internal storage can be supplemented with up to 32GB of microSD storage. With that hardware configuration, it is normal to expect jitter and stutter and lag in many areas. Don't expect the tablet to provide smooth and seamless performance that will make you giggle and grin. This is a light tablet. Even the 3.2 megapixel back camera cannot be reasonably expected to produce shots that can wow anyone. But the photos and videos it captures are good enough for general use. The same general observation can be made of video playback on this tablet. I'm quite impressed by the volume of the loudspeakers. One nice thing about video playback using the default player is that it can be controlled with swipe gestures. You can also lock the video screen during video playback to prevent accidental touch-based adjustment of volume or brightness. But the thing that I liked most about this tablet is that not only does it have 3G connectivity, but also lets me use the tablet as a phone. I can make phone calls. I can receive phone calls. Though the sound comes out of the loudspeakers at the back, so I suggest using headphones for phone calls. As for the battery, according to the spec sheet, it is 4100 mAh lithium polymer. Used moderately or casually, this can last 6 to 8 hours. In sum, the Huawei MediaPad 7 Lite is good enough for casual to moderate use. It is an entry-level tablet with specs and performance that match its light branding. The build is strong and solid enough for use on the go. The display, as expected, is great enough for reading, browsing, light gaming, and the occasional movie. Overall performance is acceptable enough, that is if you're willing to ignore lag and stutter in some areas. Judged on its own merits, it is actually an okay tablet, especially for newcomers to the 7-inch Android tablet scene. What about you? What's your take on the Huawei MediaPad 7 Lite? Share your thoughts in the comments. For more Android news and reviews, visit androidauthority.com. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel.
Thanks again for watching. This is April from Android Authority. May the light side of the Android Force be with you.